YouTube, this is Colour Waters, and today I'm bringing you a video which I hope shows you why you don't surrender and having a feeder in your uh, having a feeder in your game doesn't mean you're automatically going to lose. Um, in this game, I'm playing support thrash, which is the worst position to be in if there's a feeder, because all you can do is like try and help the situation, try and like boost your team and hope they can carry you um, through all the negative feeding and uh, flaming and all of that. Um, so, straight away the, the Zack doesn't start feeding immediately, he dies twice and then at 6 minutes he's gonna start feeding. Um, it's just gonna cause a lot of problems because the Lux gets super super fed and is able to just like one shot um, Draven or Ziggs with her um, her combo um, but luckily like halfway through the game the Vi DCs and so it's a, essentially a 4 on 4 because the Zac's useless um, and obviously the Vi isn't there because she's DC'd so anyway starting off I started with my shield just to try and get Draven to the farm quicker um, it's not ideal for lane, but um, I just thought it, it helps if you know if he's trying to get the farm. Here, the Morgana gets a nice dark binding, um, and the vein goes too far forward, so I'm able to uh, throw a hook down igniter and let the ignite run down and get the kill. Uh, that wasn't uh, the hook for me was good there, but. It was mainly just a misplay from the vein, um, just going too far forward and allowing me to level up my Q and then just throw the hook into her and pin her down so that Draven can get the majority of the damage down and then we were able to finish off the kill. So the majority of this game is just going to be farming or when it gets close to the end of the game, it's going to turn into Lux, just one-shotting people. Right there, Draven takes too much harass um, and is forced to go back. Uh, I have enough HP and mana to stay. So, throw down shield, go into lane quicker. Here I get um, dark binded, but I'm tanky enough for it not to do any any damage. Here I wait for the dark binding to run out before I flash hook. Uh, get the flay down, uh, ignite again. Draven deals enough damage so that the ignite gets the kill, and I, th I throw the shield to make sure he gets out safely. So right now, as you can see, Zach's not even bothering going to his lane. He's decided to go um, kind of jungle for a bit, then got bored of that and just started mainly running up mid lane. Now, here's where I make a mistake, which almost gets me killed. I I hook the Morgana while she's got her shield down, so I'm not going to be able to CC her at all. Um, and then I go in on the hook as well, which takes me just under turret and I almost die to it. Which was a very silly thing for me to do. And I almost had to um, pay the price for it. Here the vein goes back a bit and leaves the Morgana pushed up. The minion dies, which means I'm able to get a, a nice hook onto her, throw down my ulti to make sure she doesn't survive. She flashes, but Jof and Zax follows through and is able to deal enough damage to get the kill. Which, uh, since he's been doing so much farming, uh, I assume gave him like a thousand gold or something. Maybe not that much, but it gave him a lot of bonus gold because of his passive. Right now we can see they're going for Dragon. Uh, Morgana actually wards where I'm standing and that binds me. Um, here I kind of underestimate how... Well, it's mainly just my map awareness. I didn't realise there were um, three of them around the Dragon and then Vayne was obviously coming from lane. So... That's just mainly poor, poor map awareness. Um, but luckily the Ziggs does 
managed to get the dragon with his ultimate, so it's not all bad. It's just a kind of it's just a bit of a problem that I died. Here you can see um I'm about to make another mistake. Um Fortunately I don't make too many of these, but I thought this one was worth pointing out because I see it a lot. Um, a turret has really low health and it's going to go down in a couple of hits. So, for some reason I decided to stay, try and defend it, which was a really bad decision. Um, and I'm only just able to escape by flashing over the wall. So I kind of wasted a summoner there. Um, and my ultimate. Um, fortunately Vi goes the wrong way there. And I have enough time to place a ward to know she's not following me. So I'm able to survive, but really, you know, I was lucky to be able to escape, flash out of the dark binding, get away with my life. Here we're going to roam mid, um, me and the Draven. The Morgana that, um, black shields herself, which means I'm able to get a hook onto Lux, and again, ignite, and then Draven's able to get the shutdown. That's really good because it means we're able to push down the mid turret. It also means their main damage dealer, the one who's most feds, out the way. Here I get a, a hook onto Heimerdinger, being able to predict where he's going. There's not a lot of places he's going to run from that position. And we're able to get a nice kill. And he even flashed, which was unfortunate for him since he flashed right into the Ziggs and the Lee Sin. Once again, I'm going to make a poor decision here. Um, Draven pings that he's going bot, and I'm not. Um, I wasn't looking at the timers to see that um, Lux had come back up and that she was going to come come mid, so I die again. Draven, I think, three shots the vein, um, and we lose mid to it. Um, uh, again, I died to the Lux, but that's just because she's got, well, 11 kills now. I think she had 9 when she killed me. But she's just got really fed, so she's able to deal a lot of damage, and you know, there's not a lot I can do about that. Also, my my build is mainly armor-based. Um, I will build into a Banshee's Veil to stop her uh, de dealing as much damage to me, but... At the moment it's mainly armour and health, which doesn't help me too much against the Lux. There the Draven um, over chases um, and gets one shot by the Lux. And then here the Ziggs is out of position, he gets killed. But fortunately we were able to kill the Vayne there, the Vi... Um, I don't quite know what she was doing, but she goes too far. And she dies for it. Right there, Draven throws out his ult to stop the Heimerdinger um, recalling, but unfortunately Lux is there. And um, she throws out, I think it's her uh, light binding, and uh, she's just able to finish Draven off. A simple combo. Right now my main focus is going to be um, killing the Lux, um, CCing her as much as possible um, and finishing, well, making sure she can't throw out a combo and, um, and generally stopping what she's going to be doing. As you can see right there by DC, so it's going to be, as I said before, 4 and 4. Um, um, to be fair to him, the Zac does start playing properly um, as we get later into the game. Here we see they're all really low. Lee Sin goes in on the Morgana, who uses the dark, um, so the black shield on herself, which means I'm able to uh, 
um, hook the Lux and throw it, essentially everything onto her to get the kill. Right there I was checking to see if Vayne had stayed, but he'd ran all the way back to the fountain by that point. There we almost get the mid turret, but um, Dinger and his turrets are able to you know, come back and defend that. That once again just, you know, goes on a feeding rampage. He's going to do that until he gets, I think, 20, 20 deaths, 22 deaths. Um, somewhere around there. But he's just going to you know, keep feeding, doing his thing. So, right now, um, Draven and Zach have respawned. I'm able to get a hook onto Lux, but unfortunately Draven's just died, and I only survive with around 20 hit points, so I was very lucky to survive this one. Um, I think that was mainly my armor stopping the Vayne doing enough damage to finish me off. Fortunately for us, Vayne sticks around slightly too long, wanting to finish off the inhibitor, and I'm able to land a hook on her, which means she's going to die. Right here, Zix throws out the ultimate uh, to kill the Morgana, and Lee lands a nice Q onto uh, the Morgana to finish her off. Draven's gone top at this point to finish off tower, give everyone a little bit of extra gold, since we are uh, we were halfway. I know we are still we've only got half their turrets, so. We're a long way down in the gold, they've got most of the dragons. Right here I get a, a hook through the turrets onto Vayne, uh, which forces her to use uh, her flash. Driven uses his flash and jumps over the wall kills her. I'm able to CC the Lux for the Lee Sin to get the kill on her. Um, unfortunately, Draven dies to the Heimerdinger and we're not able to chase and kill him. Um, which means I just go um, ward the Baron. I think this is where Zack starts playing well, at least better than before because he, he does go and use his wards and um, doesn't, I don't think he's feeding as much. He's not just diving in under turret. There the Morgana dies just because of um, just because of the Ziggs and the Draven. Draven, obviously, she can't really defend against her black shield, does nothing for it. And the Ziggs just has way too much damage for her to deal with anyway. So right now, uh, Draven's going to chase, but then just take a full combo. Gets the shield from Lee Sin, but it's still not enough to save him. Um, fortunately, they've all grouped up, which means Ziggs is able to get a really good well, Ziggs and myself were able to get really good ultimates off on them. Um, and we're able to kill all of them. Obviously, apart from the Vi, who's DC'd, so that doesn't matter. So, what we can do now is we just go straight down the mid lane, take the inhibitor, and then run back and take the Baron. Um, we're able to do this, obviously, because they've only just respawned. And I'm pretty sure we can take it with Elise in um, doing his QQ and smite, so it's a pretty safe Baron. We're still a long way down in the kills, um, but we have uh, taken over in the gold, which is, um, unfortunately at this stage it doesn't really mean a lot. Most people have, um, have got five items and almost got the sixth one. But it's, you know, it's a good indicator of if you're ahead or behind unknown um, who has the gold. Right now we're just able to brute force um, turrets. Here the drone and the Zack just try and go in on the vein. Uh, Lee does the same. Um, I'm pretty sure he only survives because of um, the hit points my shield gave him. So. Because the game's pretty much finished, I decided to have a little one-on-one -on -one with the Vayne, and it gets really close, um, but I don't know who would have won that. I assume the Vayne would have won it since she had um, minions attacking me, but 
you know, it's really close and we're both saved by the Nexus. So I hope that shows you can win um, whatever your situation is. For instance, in that one, I, I think our Zach was 2-22, and 22, um, but we're still able to get the win. So it's always worth playing. You know, there, there are situations when you should surrender, but you know, this is an example of when you can pull it out and win. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.